Hello everyone, I'm Don Crow, and in today's tutorial for Crossplays, we are going to see Information Gathering Part 2. So, uh, we are going to use again Nmap, but the Nmap scripting engine. The Nmap scripting engine or NSC lets us run publicly available scripts or write on uh, our own, but uh, today we are going to use uh, this engine. Uh, to, to produce a port scan like the earlier video, but uh, with uh, the Nmap scripting engine, we are going to see details like which service runs in each port and um, stuff like that. So let's see how we can use it. Like the other time, Nmap does S C this time and the IP address of the target machine that we can find with the part one of information gathering. So the Nmap starts. And now, as you can see, in the results, we have open ports and the service that they're running, uh, other ports with the SSH keys. Uh, you can see here the SMTP server with, with the domains, serious information about all uh, the ports that runs in the target machine. As you can see, I'm running as the target, the metasploitable uh, distribution and it has many open ports and yes so a good strategy after this is to test these ports and uh, what is a, a really good tool to test manually these ports is the netcat uh, tool which starts with the NC so we can type NC, the IP address of the target. And for example, let's see a good one here. I think that it has a cell running, uh, the metasploitable uh, distribution, but in which port? Sorry. Okay. Let's try and connect to the FTP server which is the port 21 and as you can see we can connect here we can test uh, login credentials and stuff like that um, we can connect in the VNC server as you can see we have many details about the open ports here in the 8180 we have an Apache Tomcat and this in, in this version. So we can search in the CVE database about this version and which vulnerabilities uh, have fa uh, has found. Okay, so another tool about information gathering, a really good tool, uh, is uh, Zen, uh, Zenmap. Zenmap is, a, is the GUI version of the nmap and as you can see if we we have the target option here that we can put an exact ip address or an ip range of the network that we're scanning we have some profiles uh, a predetermined profiles or we can just make new profiles that we want I, i'm going for a quick tutorial give you the intent scan. As you can see, it is verbose, so we can see all the steps one by one that the Nmap is producing. And after the end of the scan, uh, we are going to see a, a really thorough uh, result presentation here. 
uh, in this uh, uh, okay yes this uh, now it's really fast as you can see uh, here we can see that it has run the nmap scripting engine and you can see that it colors the ports and gives us the results under the the port the ports you can, we can see that it runs linux uh, here if we make a, an ip range attack uh, scan uh, we, we are going to see that it will list all the targets of the network but now that we made a single ip scan we see that we have only this and we can navigate here that it has all the ports, uh, the protocol that they are using, the state if they are open or closed, uh, or, or filtered, the service that they are running, and the version. So it's like an Excel presentation, and we can see that, we, as I told you earlier, we can search the version and see if, we, if it is vulnerable. Uh, of course, we have to update these uh, versions. Uh, we can see the topology here. Uh, if we have uh, many other hosts, we can see a really thorough presentation of the topology of the network. Uh, we can see details about the host, the MAC address, the IP address, and all these. Uh, you can search it, you can uh, try it your own, on your own. And here we have all the scans. We can save the scan for, late, for a later uh, uh, <coughs> uh, yes, examination, and as you can see, it has many details that you can uh, see, examine, and exploit in later uh, tutorials. So, thank you for watching, thank you for supporting me. I, I saw that you liked that I started again up the, uh, uploading videos. Uh, I think that I will continue to upload. Uh, in my schedule, I don't think that I can really uh, update, um, upload many videos. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and act on your own property. Goodbye.